Paris attacks are just and are real. The nations with the red, white and blue flag are the Edomites, Esau, the Western Empire fucking up the earth, it's poisoning the rivers and the streams. I can't take my son anywhere to swim. Swim pools are full of chlorine and they've taken all the fucking diving boards away. Bastard. I can't swim in the streams and the lakes and the rivers which I want to. This is the Western world. I fucking hate that. The people who did the Paris attacks are just and true. Do you know why? What were you thinking about Friday night? To be honest, I was feeling really sorry for all these migrants. Because it's fucking getting cold. And they're sitting in Calais, freezing their asses off. They had some fires, but <laughs> that'll soon all be gone. And because of what? Because some asshole wants to bomb a country to make some money. We elect our leaders, we are fooled. Those people in Paris were partying, drinking, having a good time. You know, they make such a big thing about that. And people will listen to me saying this and go, Oh my God, listen to what he's saying. He's a, a, an extremist. <laughs> I'm not. I'll tell you what's extreme. It's having four million, I don't know how many people who can't live in their country anymore and if you look at their country it's bombed out to fuck why were we not screaming blue murder about that? because to most of us and you, if you're honest with yourself you will know this it doesn't matter so much when black people die or Arabs Chinese or Indians but when Westerners die <gasps> what a big thing is made of it we're all human beings and death isn't the end anyway and by some amazing coincidence I believe that Whatever has happened was meant to be and was meant by God. People have died before. Innocent people. Lots of innocent people die. Lots of innocent people are forced to live a life eating rice for breakfast, lunch and dinner and work 12 hours a day for the, their whole life and just bossed around and mainly just not appreciated. What's worse? So, um, get off your high horse. This red, white, and blue thing, this, if you look at the flags, every red, white, and blue flag is the Western nation. The bad guys, people, under the red, white, and blue flags, with the bad guys. All those Middle Eastern flags, green, white, black and red. Well, they are the um, four horsemen of the apocalypse. Could say it's God's retribution. But I'm just talking as nations. And there's obviously lots of individuals in nations. It I'm not putting everybody under some banner, I'm just saying it's kind of if you look at things it can you can understand it. And that's what God does as well. He he he, he makes it all understandable, it's all there to see. But Obama is a is a false president. 
I mean, he's, an, he's not for the red, white and blue, I don't believe. He's, a, you know, he's got it in his first four years. <coughs> <coughs> he didn't really do much. Um, and then his second four years, maybe he's now got a, s a select committee where he can operate without Congress finding out and shit like that. But ISIS does seem to be funded by American, well, you know, they didn't actually make a secret of it, did they? Sending all that money and um, <laughs> arms. And well, the first thing they did was raid an Iraqi bank and they got quite a lot of gold there, so they got money. And they got the means. And um, they said exactly what they're going to do. And I guess it's going to keep on going until people wake up and get real. Because I, I want change, you know. I want to live in harmony with nature. If we're going to live on this planet, we should protect it and look after it. And that means not putting loads of concrete everywhere and People have to drive a hundred miles to work and back, you know. Get get a proper system, community. Living in communities, growing up and living in communities, people can really learn to get to know and love. They will have seen you grow up and you would have grown up with them. And, you know, get a proper, proper system fair system, not one about greed and but that will come, it will come. So um yeah, get ready, it's coming, isn't it? It's happening. So okay. And by the way, the what was the Friday the thirteenth thing that's was making me think it was a a devil worshipping sect and and oh yeah and that's what actually yeah that's what I started thinking that the Paris attacks was was this sort of key way to get us to um, take the chip and everything and get the security knuckled down and and maybe that is and all that Obama stuff and the real war between those two colour flags is all a load of nonsense and actually it is <laughs> how can I do this in a video but some of the things I'm saying are kind of seem opposing but there is a sort of interlinking because you know it is almost like every country in the world has a McDonald's and there's just a few that don't so it's like that that organisation has covered the whole world. And, and yeah, Obama it has got the spirit of the Antichrist. And Tony Blair had it before him, and there was, a, there was a prophecy in Nostradamus, I remember, but I can't tell you when it was, which one it was. Um, we were talking about the third Antichrist. So it wasn't like the second anger or the first, it was definitely the third Antichrist, and something about there would be this one, this bad one who would do some bad things, but the one to come was was going to be worse, worse. And I thought maybe that was supposed to be David Cameron after to Tony Blair, and then <coughs> a couple of nonsense. Well, it was just Gordon Brown before, wasn't it? But it seems Obama. Yeah, so it. <coughs> <coughs> this is what it is. So we won't see lots of this, but we did see the fear. We did see people fear. So there might be another one in another country. Because if you think ISIS has just been killing Shiites, that's so confusing, isn't it? What the fuck is going on? It's so hard. 
But this Paris thing has created fear. And if there's another one in England or something, you know, it's going to be this fear. And mind you, what the chip isn't the fucking answer, is it? It's. Do you know what I mean? The, knowing the truth is just this sort of like this freaking seesaw. And it, like while I'm, I thought, you know, I sat down and I think, yeah, that feels right, yeah, all right. And then you say something and then you realise, hang on a minute, <laughs> it doesn't add up, it's something else. It's, it's really difficult, isn't it, to try and know what is going on. I mean, there's so much deceit. There is a lot of deceit. And yeah, there's, is there this belief engine, which, which is the belief engine pumping out? Which is the... Because is CERN a belief machine? Pumping out a belief. Well, the whole society does that anyway in TV, you know, and then people walk down the street with that belief and they're pumping out. But is CERN pumping out a specific belief machine? Which belief machine they're pumping out? I think it's the chips thing. So I think this I think this is I think this is happening, you know. The, what I said first. The the belief machine one creates more fear. Brings us down and And this is the Western side doing this. God's coming. God saw it now. And he moves in mysterious ways. He and she move in mysterious ways. And will always surprise us. Because, yeah. I mean, it's horrible for someone to drive down the street and machine gun loads of people. Or go into a theatre and massacre everyone in there. It's horrific. But is it? And I think, you know, no matter who's funding it and who's controlling it and what agenda they have, the fact that people are doing it, I don't think it's so much about brainwashing. I think it's about For them on the other side to see what see what the West is doing to the world. I mean these people live in deserts almost. Well, you know, they live in a part of the land which is parched and dry and you know, they get a lot of sun. And they're probably alright when they left there and probably perfectly happy, you know. And but you know the the West want to control the world and they pollute the world and they rape the world and and it, everything wants to get bigger and bigger and it's it's just an evil greed that you know people are prepared to to do horrific things in the belief that. You know, they they want to change the world. And people don't listen if you make a YouTube video. <laughs> I'm not going to go and do it. Because I believe, I would say to them as well, you know, live by the sword, die by the sword. But maybe they're in such a desperate situation, they're like, fuck it, yeah. I'm fucked off with this. You know, I'm not that fucked off <laughs> yet. <laughs> but I'm, I still wouldn't do that. I still do this. So they have been probably coerced, um, conned into it. But like I say, what's happened was meant to happen. And maybe it's going to be a, a help to actually wake people up and say, come on, we've got we to look at everybody's lives here. And and yeah, let's have real democracies. Let's not 
Let's not fall for their bullshit. Okay. And, um... I feel like we're in the woe woes at the moment, you know, when the eagle flying, like, woe to the people down there. I mean, we might even be the woe, woe, woe bit, because it feels hard, you know. If it just feels quite hard at the moment, just to, just to be happy and positive. And in a sense, I don't want to force myself to be happy and positive when... When I'm not, when I look at the world and and it's not <laughs> in a good way, and it's like, well, whose fucking fault is it, you know? Well, you know, some people blame God, don't they? But I guess this probably had to happen, and it's, a, you know, and it's an experience of, and it's experience for the soul. So we know what's wrong, so we stop doing it. So we irrefutably know for eternity that there is no profit in that direction, in the negative, and that love is the answer. And we have to irrefutably know that within our souls. And when we all know that, we won't have to experience any bad anymore. Alright? That's enough. Okay, thanks. Bye.